Hi there, welcome along and we are starting flower painting today and I'm so excited because we've been building up to this for a little while. So today it's all about just having a go at learning the petal shapes and starting with a few really easy flower doodles and then we'll be getting on with some actual flowers in the next episodes. So get your kit and let's get started. Okay, so I've got my lovely new palette and we're going to start off with a large size 8 brush because we're going to start off by just having a look at the petal shape because you will be glad to know it's rather recognisable. It is very similar to the leaf shape that we've been doing all this time. So I'm just getting some lovely opera rose and I want to show you how we just create a really simple generic petal shape. So we start with the tip of the brush and we just press it down gradually and bring it up to the tip. So that is a lovely simple petal shape. We could do long thin with a little bit more of a point, a bit like a sort of daisy petal or, or an echinacea petal I suppose you'd be long and then having it just a little bit more bulbous. But on the whole, the petal technique is to start with the tip of the brush and to spread it out and press down. Now, of course, there's gonna be a number of times where we need to do at least two strokes to get a broader petal or to create a shape that maybe has a little bit more um, frill to it. So two and then maybe just sort of creating a bit more interest on the end. Now the other thing is petals are just a watercolour artist's dream in terms of colour blending. So let me get two colours ready. Let's get pink and orange. Lovely colour combination. And let's just have a little look. Get a bit more pink in there. Lovely. Okay, let's have a little look at making some colour blend petals. So I'm using a, a fairly dilute and a fairly wet colour mix and if I just drop in a little bit of colour at the top we'll see it flow really nicely down in and of course petals well the colour comes at all different places so if we've got a pink petal like that and then drop in colour from the top down as well it's all kind of fun and kind of simple to get some really cool mixes going on. The other thing of course is really sort of pushing the boat out and dropping in a bit more of a concentrated colour and you'll get a really really strong blend. So we are going to today just have a bit of a play around with some flower doodles I suppose is the best way of putting it. Um, as always, I still focus on trying to get an accurate representation of the structure of a flower, even when we're just doodling. So I'm going to put this brush down and I'm going to pick up my size six brush, rounded point master stroke brush. And we are going to have a go at a really simple petal flower. So that's what I mean, like a flower like a daisy that has petals coming off from a central point. Now that central point is the most important thing with flower painting, even really, really simple flower painting. I can't stress enough how important it is to start from that central position. So let's mix up some of this pink again. And I'm just gonna get a bit more pigment in there. By the way, if you are um, impressed with the new palette and you see all the colors and things, um, we've just done a whole tutorial on how to prep your palette and get it ready so you can just really effortlessly start your watercolor painting. Okay, so I need a pigment that is fairly full of color, but fairly wet as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint a blob a very wet paint on the page and you can see that that sort of stands up off the page there's so much in there now I've just cleaned my brush off and with a wet brush all I'm going to do with the tip is I'm going to draw color out from that central point and I'm going to do two and a third brush stroke and now I'm just going to sort of fill it out and make it a little bit messy okay cleaned off the brush 
tip of the brush, draw out that colour again. Draw it out, try and avoid touching the petal you just painted. Okay, coming over the top now. Clean, wet brush, drawing out the colour. I need more water on the brush, there we go. You're sort of creating a channel for that colour to flow along. You just see how much colour was in that blob to start off with in the middle. And another one. I'm aiming for five petals. Let's see, the fifth one always feels like a bit of a squeeze, but we can do it. And also you really are starting to stretch out the amount of colour you've got. Okay, that is probably your most simple, straightforward flower, but how lovely does it look? Really, really satisfying. And because we started with that central point, however sort of tight or squished your petals feel, actually when you look at it as a whole at the end, it's got a lovely evenness to it because we started from the centre. Okay, we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to have a bit of fun with the colour blending. So we're going to do it all over again. I'm going to do a slightly different shape petal and then at the end we're going to add in a little bit more colour. So just remember, you need a decent amount of pigment in there and you need a decent amount of water to allow it to flow nicely. So I've cleaned off my brush each time, so let's go. Tip of the brush and you let it sort of you, you you have the fine tip of the brush and you paint it out for a few millimetres and then that's the point that you press down, not before. Now it's quite a hot day where I am today, uh, so paint dries, uh, water dries quite a lot quicker on a really warm day, so I'm going to try and go as fast as I can. just so satisfying to watch that colour flood out of that central dot. Okay, and now I'm going to get my orange and we're just going to dab it in the centre. And just by dabbing a few times it has pushed the colour out, it's sort of pulsed it out and we've been left with what looks like a lovely graded flower and of course it all depends on how much water you've put in and this petal hasn't quite got enough but it's still coming out there so this is one to experiment with you'll you'll end up doing sheets and sheets of these flowers and to be honest that's no bad thing because they're really lovely to look at so I would encourage you not to be disheartened if the first one just doesn't work but the big tip is start with your central blob and then your petals you must start with a thin line for just a few millimetres before you spread out into a beautiful full petal. And also remember that we didn't add any more colour once we had painted that first central blob. Okay, let's get another sheet of paper and take this a little bit further. Okay, so I said we could have lots of different flowers from just that one technique. So let's try again. Up here we're going to try a bit more of a sort of daisy shape here. So I'm just going to add the tiniest bit more water there. Right, clean my brush off and this time my petals are just going to be the single tapered line. There we go. Now we're talking. And these flowers really are the easiest ones. There we are. And then let's see what happens if we drop in a little bit of color. And there we go and we can just let that sort of blend as we go. Now this is really lovely um, and these flowers are fun but they also they're a little bit childish, they're a little bit simple. I want to show you that this technique is actually really really handy for like 
a bit more of a grown-up flower I suppose so I'm going to get a bit of green gold and lemon yellow and just make a beautiful light golden yellow colour and then bring that in here right let's try one down here so I've got my blob in the middle okay and this time I'm going to paint a very sort of smushed <laughs> I'm never quite sure what the technical term I'm referring to when I'm just doing really fanned out petals that are sort of plenty of brush strokes and have a lovely sort of papery quality to them and I'm actually gonna dare to overlap one or two like that you see colour coming from the centre there we go colour coming out from the centre okay really nice now what I want to do with my slightly smaller brush my size 2 is I'm going to take some really dark Mars black and then I've got these little gaps here I'm just going to add a few dots and just because we've got a little bit of unpainted space and a little bit of painted space some will take and some will be left as dots and this will start to sort of turn into sort of a, a very loose kind of anemone colour Again, it's the kind of thing that you have to let it sit and blend and bleed, but you get yourself a really nice, loose, but fairly grown up seeming flower. Now, let's have a, a sort of step forward and see if we can actually start turning this into something a little bit more recognizable. Using a pencil, I'm gonna sort of take the angle from the flower on its side this time. Now, I like to draw my stem and then I always do a little corresponding sort of line that crosses over in a cross section which is where the base of the flower is going to sit and I'm going to paint a flower from the side with lovely little petals so let's go for our pink again and I'm going to use that also as my anchoring point so we're going to start with some lovely petals so this time we're not necessarily using a blob first so I'm just going to get a bit more water on those smooth them out a little bit you try and do these with as few brush strokes as possible but you see just by having that central focus point it just anchors the petals so even though we don't have that blob we've still got something so this is just we're sort of graduating a little bit okay and one more lovely a little bit more in there and then we can add our blob and we can do a little dome there we are and that's kind of sweet and then we can add ourselves a, a stem so I've got a little bit of sap green here so I'm just going to add a bit of green gold to and we'll just with the size 2 brush go up the stem and then of course we're all brilliant at leaves now so the lovely thing with these little flower doodles and leaf doodles is we don't need to be saying this is definitely a this or a that kind of flower this is just a really good practice so let's just put this down in here so we can remember what we've been doing so far so we've got some lovely sort of uh, open face flowers starting to sort of play around with petal types and centers and now we've looked a little bit at painting something on the side still using that central line let's have a look at another lovely little side on bloom using even sort of rougher petal shapes 
This time I'm going to use my cadmium orange as my main petal colour and then I'm going to drop in a little bit of red. Okay, let's go. So, big brush and we're just going to squish the brush and draw it in to the centre and we're going to Some people like to start with the sort of broader bit of the brush and some people like to start from there and squish out. It's really down to you. Sometimes the way that the um, the brush is positioned or the thing you're painting is positioned, it will sort of present itself as there's only really one way to do it. But as I always say, like there really isn't much of a right or a wrong and then we're just going to drop in a little bit of that red and then I'm going to get some of my green and I'm just going to go up the stem and then just shy of touching it because it's very very wet and then we can put some lovely little leaves It's kind of cute. So now we've got a sort of sense of this loose flower petal, but it's always coming from the central point outwards. And you can see from the ones we did earlier that you get that lovely blend of colour. So I think to finish off, I'm just going to do a sort of little bouquet, as I suppose, just to give you an idea of even when it's really really loose it can still be really gorgeous so I'm just drawing a few curves here to give me a sort of sense of composition and then I'm gonna have a flower there flower there and maybe a little bud and we'll do some nice nice colors as well for the stem so let's start off with this pink, waking it up. And when you are painting a composition like this, um, the order in which you would do things, so the flowers are really, you know, they're big, they're bold, they're fanning out, they're taking up a lot of space. And so you would want to paint in your flower heads first, and then you can pop in your stems and your foliage. Just about squeeze in a fifth petal there. Lovely. And then you could sort of go back and just get your get your petals looking how you want them to. Really nice. And then I'm just going to drop in a tiniest bit of orange and let that blend. Okay, let's go for one here. So I think I'm going to go for my pink again but this time my flower is going to be on its side so let's but I'm still using these same petals I guess it's a sort of loose anemone very very loose and if they touch not the end of the world and this time because I don't have a central point I can just drop in the color there now we've only got a tiny bit of space here and there so maybe we'll do some little buds and that would just be two little C curves there maybe with some extra little bits and then of course a little bit of orange and maybe one that's just starting to open up so A little bit of orange there as well and maybe just one little languid petal really really nice okay so now I'm gonna do green stems 
And actually, I quite like the idea of having a slightly more bluey green. And that's a bit zingy, so handily, got a little bit of black, just going to knock this green back. Oh, I do love this palette. Everything is just there waiting for me. Okay, really happy with that. So I'm going to follow the lines. I'm going to start with the first one. So just little unpainted gaps. And then the second one here. And then last off. Now as these are doodles, we don't need to worry about doing the exact kind of leaves that we'd have would this be an anemone. So I'm just going to paint just some, some little leaves. I'm going to drop in just a little bit extra in the base. I'm just looking for the gaps really and there aren't that many but there are some. And it's so important to just have a play around when you're starting out with these things because you'll make discoveries that you weren't necessarily ready for. Now, I am going to do one last slightly dramatic thing whereas I'm going to get a little bit of black because the anemone we know has a black centre and we're just going to just do that and maybe a few little little dots and then in the center and you might be like oh no what are you doing honestly just let it dry and it'll be gorgeous and then we can't we don't have much there so it's just more about just getting in a little bit more bold color and just letting that dab out and there you have a really really simple beautiful little flower doodle that comes from all this messy practice. So where we started, let's have a look. Central dot, adding petals. I like to do five. It always seems like a good amount. Then just having a go at playing around with dropping some colour in the centre. Then we looked at maybe trying that technique with a few different petals. And of course, when you're practicing and the amount of water you get on your petal, um, it's all gonna take a bit of time before you're getting to this stage where you're doing some lovely blends like that. Then looking at it from the side, bringing in a little bit of pencil and, uh, and then a few sort of slightly more grown up looking ones, adding in some leaves and there we go. The easiest flower doodles that you could possibly come across. Those are so much fun, aren't they? You could just paint those all day. Uh, so I hope you do, to be honest. And don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below um, if you've enjoyed it, of course. And if you are really into the flower painting, don't forget I already have a wonderful book out full of flower and foliage projects called New Botanical Painting and it's currently only 99p as a Kindle version on Amazon. So the links to everything below in the episode notes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.